and welcome to the Streamweaver tutorial. My name is Daniel Walter Scott and I'm a trainer here at Bring Your Own Laptop. In this little video we're just going to discuss um, what hosting is uh, and what a domain name is, why you need it and cost, those type of things. And um, if you're already familiar with that type of thing you can skip through to the next tutorial. Right so um, essentially to get your website from where it is at the moment on your desktop to our website um, we're going to have to look at two things, domain name and hosting. So at the moment we've got what we call a local site. That means that it only exists on our hard drive. So that's called a local website. Now we want to move it to a remote website, which means uploading it to a host. So to have a website you need two things, a domain name and hosting. Domain name is the little URL, so byol.com.au is one of my ones. Uh, another one is bringyourownlaptop.co.nz, bringyourownlaptop.com. They're all domain names or URLs. So you need to buy one of those. They're relatively cheap. Um, you pay, I'm paying probably, what is it, about $15 or $20 US um, per year to have these. Okay. Um, with these by themselves, they don't do a whole lot. Okay. You need these things, these domain names, to point to a host. Now, the host is a slice of hard drive. Um, on somebody else's computer. So essentially you've got your website residing on your hard drive, on your laptop, and you want to give it to a hosting company, they'll store it on their computer and connect this domain name to it. The nice thing about that is that they guarantee that their computer is never going to go offline. So when people search for um, bringerinlaptop.co.nz, they will be redirected to their slice of hard drive. Now, um, they're, yeah, so that's essentially what hosting is. They'll hold it for you on their um, computer, which is essentially called a server. Um, and yeah, it means that when people access your domain, they go off to their computer and pull up uh, your index page that they're holding for you and all the images that they're looking after for you. And yeah, display them. Now, um, so picking a domain name, there's a million different ways um, to, uh, to buy a domain name. It's pretty easy. Now, my advice is whoever you buy your domain name with, try and get the hosting with them as well can be a bit of a drama setting up um, domain names from one company and hosting on the other. They both each other want to look after both services and it sometimes can be um, a bit of a pain. So um, pick a host. Now you've got kind of three sets of hosting. I'm going to look at one of the hosts that I use. I'm going to use, um, I'll use this one here, which is hosting my New Zealand site, freeparking.co.nz. Okay, now I love these guys in New Zealand and Australia. My favorite one is I've just switched over to a company called Digital Pacific. Um, so these guys are really good in Australia. These guys are really good in New Zealand. In terms of the US, uh, I use a site called, um, a place called Lunar Pages. Lunar Pages. They're okay. Okay. Um, support's reasonably good. They're dirt cheap. And um, so. Um, but have a look around Google top 10 hosting companies and put your country in and um, work that out for yourself. So I'm going to look at uh, free parking just because I'm going to look at um, that's where you can buy the domain names. I want to look at their web hosting options and pretty much all web hosting have these kind of rough guides. They'll have a basic, a standard, a premium, and then they start getting into kind of small business options. Okay, so essentially for a website that we're building in this tutorial, all you need is this basic one. Okay, so they're roughly the same sort of prices, New Zealand dollars, and um, hosting can get down to like 30 US, it can be quite cheap. Now remember, the cheaper it is, um, generally indicates um, the type of hosting you're going to get. You're going to get something called uh, virtual hosting here. So you're going to share your bit of hard drive with a bunch of other people. And that can be awesome because it keeps the cost down and it can be um, painful as well because the other people that are sharing your hard drive can be um, abusing what they do, running malware and storing viruses and all sorts of other things. It doesn't affect you um, essentially your website, but because you're coming through the same hard drive, it can slow things down. Okay, So um, when you're getting started, just start with a, a basic, um, basic hosting. Um, I'm at kind of something like this now for the two websites that I just showed you there, purely because I don't have a lot of um, database driven data. So I don't need a database for my websites. They're quite, um, 
uh, um, front end only, okay, um, Dreamweaver created. So um, I've got this one just because I've got a few different websites hosted on the same account. Okay, but this one here will do just fine. Have a look, there'll be a basics, medium, and a premium. And you start getting to business solutions and yeah it really depends on what you're looking to do with your website but if it's not getting too big and too fast start with the basic you can always upgrade once you've signed up say i pick the saver option you'll get an email okay and that email will have something called ftp details now ftp um, is the way you connect dreamweaver to that host so we'll go through that in the next tutorial and show you how to get your website connected from Dreamweaver on your machine to your host so that the world can see your website. Exciting.